This video will demonstrate how to properly provide therapy using the BTL high intensity laser. Ask the patient to lie in such a position that is comfortable for both the patient and the therapist. The therapist should be able to reach the affected area easily. The therapist is to clinically examine the patient prior to every therapy and locate the area to be treated precisely. Use passive testing techniques, palpation and joint range of motion examination. Confirm the painful area with the patient. Assess the patient's skin type according to the Fitzpatrick scale. For types 1, 2 and 3, no parameter adjustments need to be made. For type 4, use 80 to 90% of the recommended maximum power. For type 5, use 70 to 80% of the recommended maximum power. For type 6, use 60 to 70% of the recommended maximum power. Ask the patient about possible contraindications to the BTL high intensity laser. The basic contraindications are applications in the eye area, humerus diseases, irradiation of patients with cochlear implants, irradiation of endocrine glands, patients with febrile conditions, epilepsy, pregnancy, irradiation of freckles, sites that have tattoos, sensational deficit, photosensitive medication, application above metallic implants. For a full list of contraindications, see the BTL 6000 High Intensity Laser Manual. It is essential to set a proper treatment area. To calculate the area to be treated, estimate sides A and B of a rectangle. For example, A equals 5 centimeters and B equals 5 centimeters. The calculated area to be treated is then A times B, in this case, 5 times 5, which is 25 square centimeters. There are three spacers available. A 10 millimeter spacer for focal application with maximum penetration depth and the strongest thermal effect. A 30 millimeter spacer will be optimal for most applications. It features an optimal ratio between the penetration depth and the thermal effect. A 60 millimeter spacer is suitable for the superficial applications. It has a low penetration depth and a lower thermal effect. It is suitable for the treatment of acute and superficial conditions. Both the patient and the therapist must be wearing protective eyewear suitable for the BTL high intensity laser. No substitutes of the eyewear provided by the BTL company are to be used. The therapy is performed in two phases, analgesic and biostimulation. The analgesic phase is used to decrease pain. Biostimulation is used to support the healing and regeneration of the affected area. To set the analgesic phase parameters of the therapy, select a suitable protocol from the device encyclopedia. The one shown is knee arthritis. To adjust the area to be treated, tap the area key and using either the scale or the knob, adjust the area to the one that fits the patient. Analgesic therapy is delivered by creating concentric spirals with the most painful spot in the center. Start the spiral about five to seven centimeters from the most painful spot. Create about three to four loops before reaching the center, the most painful spot. Then rest for about two to three seconds above the most painful spot. Repeat the spiral motion until the therapy time on the device is up. Continue in a similar manner when setting the biostimulation phase. Assess the area to be treated. On the device, select the same protocol, this time in the biostimulation mode. Remember to put in the proper area to be treated. Biostimulation is delivered by scanning across the treated area, covering the whole area evenly. Move the applicator continuously at medium speed. Prevent static application in order not to overheat the area. Biostimulation is a thermic therapy, therefore it is essential to get patient feedback on the levels of warmth they are feeling. If no heat is felt by the patient, adjust the power to a higher level by turning the knob on the main unit. Make sure the warmth is pleasant for the patient and proceed with the therapy. 
continue with the scanning motion until the therapy time is up.